Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel. I am of course the Big Puma, wherever you may be and however you may be watching. Thanks for making this video a part of your day. Here we are back with Story Mode, the Rudos campaign in Lucha Libre AAA, Eros Del Ring. In the last one, we took on uh, Electroshock as Charlie Manson, and then we used Voorhees, our creative character, against Vampiro. And now, we are, looks like a tag team or maybe a Fatal 4 with uh, Kenzo against Vampiro and Mantis Religioso. And then if we can get to it, if we have time, we will take uh, on Granda as Kenzo Suzuki. So let's get into here. But it turns out that El Vampiro didn't come alone. A new Technico joins the fight. Luckily for our Rudo, Kenzo, the Imperial Eagle, arrives just in time to provide valuable help. So two versus two. I don't think there's actually tag matches in this. But here's Kenzo Suzuki, 10 years from Tokyo, Japan. Um, no masks or hair earned. And Vampiro, of course, uh, same as the last video. Bestia Negra the second. Pirata Morgan, Sangre Chicana, and Rey Bocanero. I guess he's a pirate. Um, oh, oh, we can't see this other little green guy here. All right, twenty second count out. DQ is on. Let's get started. Hello, boys and girls. It's time to see your heroes in action. Edwin Del Ring is set to start right now. Okay. Well, I was right. It is uh, just two on two. Uh oh oh man do big old kicks and I think we're gonna have uh, we're, it might be a little simpler and um, than normal because we have Kenzo going over there and I don't think that um, I, oh yeah we're just gonna start punching I don't I don't think it's elimination oh yeah we're going outside the ring and because we're a Rudo, because we're a bad guy, um, outside the ring is going to give us a little more, oh, he's going to give us a little more popularity. Oh, I hit my own guy into a backbreaker. Oh, he's talking about going up. No, I don't think I'm going to, well, okay then. There we go. Oh, okay, are we just trading off guys here? Oh, what am I? Who am I facing? There we go. Jeez, Kenzo, take care of the the lizard man or whatever he is. I'm getting, I'm getting smacked around. Kenzo has a finisher. There he goes. Oh man. Yeah, pin him. Into a snapper. There we go. Get up. Oh, oh, nope, we're just going to start punching. Oh, we could submit somebody just by punching them? That's insanity. Neck breaker there. Uh-oh. Yeah, you can't do anything. Get off me. Dude, I'm on your team. Shoot. We had our finisher and lost it. Give me... Ah. Oh, come on. Ah, I tried to block it. There we go. And, it, yeah, well, now we're going to break that neck. Bam! Come on. Come on. There we go. Somebody hold it. Get Vampiro. Nice. And we're just going to pin him. Come on. Oh, we can't pin him while the submission is going on. Massive clothesline. Now can we pin him? Oh. I don't know. Is Vampiro, like, hurt enough? What's happening? We're all, like, mixed together in here. All right, I'm going to pin Vampiro. Oh, yeah, we got this. Nice. Can't handle us. And Kenzo just got his finisher. This young punk has a long way to go, but as of tonight, he scored an upset. Okay. 
Moving right along here, an eagle faces a gargoyle, but it seems like the problems are far from over for the young Rudo and Kinzo as they prepare to face Granda, who is known by some as the good gargoyle. Kinzo steps up to the challenge. So we've already seen Kendo. Let's look at look at this dude. Eleven years, four trainers or three trainers there. Flash, I, Ay, Ayudo, Fuerza Guerrera. Man, that, he looks like a bad guy. Why? I don't know. Good evening, everyone. We want to welcome you to another exciting show. It's Triple A Lucha Libre. Here we go. Yeah, right off the bat with that one. Uh-oh. Couple of hits. And into a fisherman. Oh. This might this might be a, a quick match. Just whipping dudes. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, nice dodge there. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I thought I got the move. And he he does a, a fisherman type move. That didn't really look like a fisherman. Get off me. Uh oh, he said the same. There we go. Nice judo flip. And we're just going to start choking you out. Oh, okay. That was fast. <laughs> oh, man. Uh oh. There we go. See, they do the fisherman, but they put that arm like across their back instead of keeping it over their head. That's interesting. Oh. Yeah. Jeez Louise, you're just going to get smoked. And. Oh, man. What a move. I thought he was going for like a sharpshooter type move. Dang. Here we go. Single arm chicken wing. And we've already got our finisher. Can you stand up, please? Thank you. Pushing him down. Oh, Insiguri. Is that going to be it? I think that's it. Oh, and just like that. Kinzo with the kick to the face. And they're done. Granda's done. Now that this battle is over, I need to get ready to make my next move. The time for Conan to devote the location of my belt is drawing near. I need to go see Electroshock. He might prove to be a strong ally at this stage of my plan. Okay, looks like maybe Voorhees is going to be turning on Conan somehow. I don't know. But now we take on um, Jack Evans and Extreme Tiger in a two versus two match. That night, Electroshock and the Rookie decided to visit a local palenque, which is a type of fair very popular in certain parts of Mexico. But unknown to them, they misspelled unknown. Extreme Tiger and Jack Evans have been following them the whole time, just waiting for their chance to strike. So we've seen Electroshock. Tiger looks good. I have that mask, actually. I, I think mine's red and red and black, but I have that actual mask. Rey Mysterio Sr., and he's earned the hair of Venom Black and Joe Leader. Interesting. He... The newcomer personifies the ferocity of a Bengal tiger. That's cool. And then Jack Evans. Uh, ten years, no hair or masks earned. The La Legion Extra Extrangera. And the Heart Foundation 2.0. That's interesting. Um, okay, let's get into this two on two. Wrestler breaks all the rules and loves it that way. The next big star. Feet of energy and 200 pounds of pain. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the Predator. He is Electro Shock. One of the best cruiser whites in the world. He is Extreme Tiger. A wrestler who mixes hip hop, the best group, rap, 
and high flying. It can only be Jack Evans. Hello, everyone. Everybody is rushing back to their seats because the Triple A Lucha Libre show is about to begin. Boy, Jack Evans looked like freaking Jim Carrey. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tiger going ham already. There we go. Now, um, this game, it's pretty basic, but, you know, you get your handful of moves. Oh, come on. There we go. I didn't mean to do the same move. So, I'm playing this on uh, the PlayStation 3. And you essentially have, you know, f weak moves, forward-facing weak moves, and strong moves. And then, oh, jeez. And then re on the back side. Ah. Okay, dude. Too early and too late and too early and too late. My gosh. And see, I don't. you, you notice that a lot of the guys have the same moves. Uh-oh. That's not good. Yeah, we can't let him do his finisher. Just break your neck. There we go. He's gonna he's gonna have to be out of it soon, I would think. Uh oh. Dang, yeah, now he's cold. Ha! <laughs> That's what you get. Uh what the heck? Get off me, Evans. There we go. And it also matters, um, how much popularity you have going on whether or not you can do strong moves like that one. Oh, I didn't mean to pin him. And he kicked out anyway. Boom! What a clothesline that was. We're just going to keep working. Oh. That might be the way to go. Wait till our guy does a move and then Oh, he slid out of the ring. There we go. Can I dive out? Oh, I don't know if I can. Oh, he kicked my leg out. Come on. Come on. Let me do my move. Oh, we might get counted out here. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Oh, I did it. And we win. Holy smokes, that was close. All right. Well, that is where we're going to end this video. We had three awesome matches. Uh, two on two with Kenzo by our side versus Vampiro and Mantis Religioso. And then we were Kenzo taking on the good Gargoyle and Garanda. And our two on two we just finished against Jack Evans and Extreme Tiger. That turned out to be a pretty good match. These are fairly quick, but that's all right. Um, in the next one, we're going to start Killing Flies, the False Messiah, and possibly the Prey of the Mantis. If we can get it along. We're almost done. We're almost done with this. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I appreciate all the support on these uh, old videos here. I have got every wrestling game for the PlayStation uh, console. From PS1 up to PS5. So if there's a game you guys want to see. Let me know. I may put out a poll later on YouTube. To uh, to see what you guys want to see. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. Check out the Patreon, all links down in the description below.